Welcome back. Well, he's a West Michigan native who followed his lifelong dream of filmmaking out west, a move that has landed him in the director's chair for several different films. Here to tell us about his newest production, The Battle Cinco de Mayo, is director Paul Miller. Hey, welcome home. Hey, thank you very much. It's great to be back. Good. But you grew up in Sparta. Exactly. And then you moved out west to, to go to school. And then, you know, talk about what your career has been like after graduation. Well, um, like you said, I did uh, graduate from Sparta. I decided to follow filmmaking, went up to USC. Okay. When I graduated, I became a production designer and art director, working okay. in films, designing the sets. In 2000, I decided that wasn't enough. I wanted to get more into the directing and story yeah. side. So then I uh, actually did a short film. And from there, I was able to garner a few uh, feature films, DVDs and that type of thing. Very nice. And, you, and I saw that you know in your bio that you do action-packed movies. You did a yeah. few comedy, a comedy series and stuff like that. So you're kind of across the board. What has been your favorite to work on? I would definitely say action films. Yeah. Uh, they're, the, they're the most fun. I like Hollywood, big Hollywood films. Yeah. And even though my budgets are lower, I do strive all the time to have that big finale in the end, that type of thing. It's a good goal. Well, speaking of action films, you have yeah. a new film out called The Battle, Cinco de Mayo. You know, it's sort of being dubbed as the Latin version of Rocky. Let's talk a little bit about this film. Exactly. Um, well, the, the genesis of the film came from the idea of making a modern day version of the Battle of Puebla, which is a celebration of Cinco de Mayo, okay. um, where a small French army, or I'm sorry, so, so small Mexican army was de, uh, defeated the French army, which is very much bigger. So the modern version is a street fighting film okay. where the scrawny little Mexican kid goes up against the big French fighter. Yeah. So it's got a lot of action, a little love story in there, and there's some comedy and that type of thing. So it does uh, kind of cover it across the board. So it's one of those follow your dream stories mixed with, you know, um, you know, giving the credit to Cinco de Mayo and focusing on the holiday. Exactly, exactly. Okay. I would say that's the main theme. Uh, the main character, Juan, is uh, torn in different directions based on his culture, and uh, he's not following his dream, okay. essentially. So okay. uh, the film is about how he attains that goal of uh, living in the dream. Now I heard that this this uh, this movie was kind of difficult to shoot. You guys were shooting in Texas. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we were in a small town of McAllen, Texas. Great little town, but it was so far removed from uh, film support that it, it made it quite difficult at times to uh, to film. Uh, if a light went out, we'd have to run out and deal with something yeah. from Home Depot. Yeah. But with that challenge and adversity, uh, the crew came together and we really came up with a great film based on the struggles that we went through. Okay. I think it really helped the film. And then you got back to L.A. <laughs> and, you know, my heart just dropped when I found out that your audio didn't work in, in your, your video. Incredibly. Uh, both the camera audio, uh, there was a setting that was wrong, and then when the we have backup tapes, those apparently went through a magnet. Ooh. So we r literally ADR'd all of the oh film, God. which means just replacing all the dialogue. Um, and wow. it was well, very well done, you can't tell, but it did add a few, uh, a few months <laughs> to the just process. A few obstacles there but you definitely yeah. have produced this great film now and Thank you guys you. are showing that at Wealthy Theater this Sunday for a special big premiere showing right? That's correct the first uh, big screen premiere uh, 730 at the Wealthy um, there's gonna be a question and answer afterwards so okay. it should be fun for anybody interested in films and obviously you can ask questions to me about the making of the film there's quite a few adventures that were involved in the making. Well since you're so. completely submerged in the film industry you obviously know that you know the film industry is kind of buzzing here in Michigan yeah. over the past couple of months and in, in, the, in the upcoming months you know, is there any talk of you coming back here to, you know, produce some films? Oh, yeah. I'm actually writing a few scripts just meant for Michigan. Um, out in California, we're very aware of the, you know, what's happening out here. A lot of films are coming out here, and I want to get on the bandwagon. And not only that, being native, um, yeah. you know, I'm aware of the surroundings, and I think I really can make some good films out here. So that's definitely the goal. Well, let's get it on the west side of the state, because everyone's going to Detroit, and we have the Lakeshore over here, so we yeah. would love that. Oh, absolutely. That's exactly what it's written around. Oh, it's just this, at Grand Rapids and the outlying areas. I bet Stephanie's jumping for joy in, <laughs> in the studio right now. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Congratulations on the new film. We appreciate sitting down and talking with you. Thank, so you. thank you. Well, you can see The Battle Cinco de Mayo at Wealthy Theater for one time showing on Sunday, May 2nd at 7.30 p.m. You can find all of this information on our website on the Take 5 homepage. Now, speaking of movies, don't fall asleep. There's a psycho killer on the loose, only in your dreams, though. When we come back, Stephanie brings us the real story behind A Nightmare on Elm Street, so stick around.